Hello, my name is Lisa Jiro, and I'm an instructor here at Esri. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started with Map Viewer in ArcGIS Online. Why? Because with Map Viewer, you can create interactive web maps to visualize and explore your data. To open Map Viewer, make sure that you're signed into your ArcGIS Online organization account. You can either click on the Map tab, or you can click the App Launcher and select Map Viewer here. Map Viewer has an intuitive design that allows you to view and manage content in one dedicated area and to customize and configure a map in another area. Let's take a look at this design. Map Viewer has two vertical toolbars. The one on our left is the Contents toolbar, which you can easily spot as the Dock toolbar. The one on our right is the Settings toolbar, which is the Light toolbar. Think of the Contents toolbar as the management side of things, where we find our primary tools. For example, this is the side where you get to add your layers, change your base map, view your legend, open and save your maps. Think of the settings toolbar as the side where you find refining tools. For example, this is the side you can alter layer properties, change layer styles, configure pop-ups, filter. Let's add some data and test out these features. Today, we'll look at the UK living arrangements in 2011. The first thing we'll do is we'll increase the transparency of our polygons. To do that, we have our property panes that's pulled up and we'll go to our slider here and set it to about 25%. Let's go ahead and style our layer by the percentage of married couples. To do this, we'll go to the styles icon, go to field and choose percentage of married couples. When you style layers in Map Viewer, the nature of the data determines the styling options that appear by default in the styles pane. You can then experiment with color ramps line weights, symbols, and other graphics by clicking Style Options. Let's go ahead and change the color ramp. Good. We'll go ahead and click Done to close the Style Options pane. We can also filter our layer to only show certain regions. We'll visualize East Midlands, London, Scotland, and West Midlands. Next, we'll use effects to make an eye-catching map. Bloom, blur, brightness and contrast, drop shadow. We'll keep this one. Next, we'll go ahead and configure pop-ups. So when we click on a polygon, instead of seeing all of the attributes of the layer, we can only show certain fields, maybe representing just percentages of the different living arrangements. We'll go to the fields list here, where I'll go ahead and remove anything except for the percentages. Looks great. You can also add content to your pop-up, like an image, chart, paragraphs, an expression. We'll go ahead and add a bar chart. We'll go ahead and visualize a couple of the situations, such as percentage of married couples versus single individuals, versus percentage of separated individuals. We'll go ahead and also change the orientation to horizontal. Looks great. We can also go in and change our base map. 
We'll go with the light gray canvas background. Lastly, we'll go ahead and save our map. Remember to fill your metadata comprehensively. When you're done with that, you can close your map. Voila! These are just a few tips to get you started with MapViewer. Have fun, explore, and happy mapping. Thank you.